The last bird of this page. A scarlet flycatcher and I only have crimson, so how is this going to turn out? Curious how I did this? Come color along with me and I'll tell you how. I'm coming in with black to block in all of the darkest parts of the scarlet flycatcher. I wanted to do a canary, but the lines of the bird and all of the yellow leaves didn't seem to make it a good fit, but this red bird looked like a good match. Again, Google Images for the win. I add in black to the beak, in a band across and below the eye, and over both of the wings. The front wing looks cut off. It's a little unclear if the part below is part of the wing or not, but I included it to make the wing look balanced and whole. I also added black to the tail and the legs. Hi everyone, welcome back to this final part of the bird's color along. I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. This is only the bird today and it is all in real time, so this is how fast I'm moving. This is a free downloadable from Joanna Bassford's blog that I will link to below, but it is also in her Worlds of Wonder adult coloring book if you just want to get the book, linked below, or if you already have the book. I'm zoomed in as much as I can, so hopefully everything is clear and easy to follow. I have the palettes listed for free on Patreon or Coffee, whichever works best for you. And they are also listed on screen, as always. I go through and add crimson red to the remaining white areas of the flycatcher. This is not the right red, so I will have to blend in some more colors to get the red closer to scarlet. I blend in poppy red on top of all the red areas trying to get a little closer to scarlet, or something that looks similar. I blend in canary yellow on top. I want to be careful with the pressure and how much yellow I add in or I will just get orange. I'm using a light pressure and I know I will build more layers on top. I blend in more crimson, continuing with the light layers to keep blending to a better color.
and for some shadows, I begin blocking them in with Tuscan Red. I begin with under the wings, then work my way up to the neck ruff, around the cheek, and the bit over the beak. I touch up what I put down to make sure I got everything in the right place, and an extra layer never hurts. I blend all the red parts with peach. White will fade out the color in a way I don't want right now, and peach will add a little more color. This also lets me see where I am at color-wise, since I am trying to blend colors to scarlet. I'm using a little more than light pressure here just to give a little blend but not burnish. I still have more layers to add, like more canary yellow. I add in a light layer all over again. Back to the wings and I add in a layer of dark brown. The first layer is light and just covers the wings, but if you watch, I go back and begin working up the shape of the wings.
The left wing gets a shadow on the left side, making it look a little more round, like it is wrapped around something. I add in shadows under each set of feathers on the wings, and the bottom section of wing with no feathers defined, I go through and add in feather lines to help define them. I also give the eye band, beak, and legs a layer as well. If this is your first time here, welcome! This is the last video for this bird, but don't worry, that means you can go back and binge watch the rest of the page. I have the whole playlist linked above in the cards, but feel free to jump in right here. Each video works alone. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button to catch the next color along. I'm going to be moving back and forth between the red parts and the black parts. I blend in more poppy red over all of the red parts of the bird. The color still isn't quite right, not quite bright enough. I come back with Tuscan Red and work up the shadows again. Every time I add in more red, it brings down the contrast on the shadows, so I need to add more layers to the shadows as well. I come in with black and I add in more layers to the beak, eye band, and wings. But for the wings, I work on shape again. I want to leave highlights and add in shadows to help define the wings more. The right wing has extra layers top and bottom with a highlight down the middle of the top wing section.
I add in more shadows under each layer of feathers. And the bottom section also gets a highlight down the center. The tail has extra layers to the left, leaving the right lighter for a highlight. The left wing gets more shading to the left side and under each layer of feathers. I go through and define the lines for the bottom feathers a little more. I actually put the pencil vertical to take advantage of the sharp point to get crisper lines. I blend the edges of the shadows with dark brown to ensure a smooth gradient. I forgot to add more shading to the legs, so I come back with black and add that in at the top. Then I give the beak a little more black at the top of the beak.
I blend out the beak and legs with peach. I blend out the wings with peach, keeping to the darkest areas of the tail and wing. With white, I blend out the highlight and really get the color blended smooth. Both the peach and the white are using a heavier pressure to push the color into the paper and blend the colors where needed. I touch up all the black areas with a light layer of black. This helps tone down the dulling effect of the white on the highlight, which tends to almost create a haze over the color. I come back with peach and give a little more to the edges of the wings before going through and blending in the red parts of the body and head to see if more layers are needed. I feel that the color still isn't quite bright enough, so I come in with more canary yellow for a light layer.
I touch up the shadows with more Tuscan Red. And I touch up all the shadows on the black parts with more black to help refine everything just a little more. And that is as close to Scarlet as I can get for this flycatcher. I'll be starting a new page in the next video, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you want to see some more birds come together, I have that linked at the end. Thanks for coloring along with me on this flycatcher today. Let me know below or on social media if you colored along and how your coloring went. I'd love to know how all of your birds turned out. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me. If you found this useful, please like and share so others can also find this video. If you want to see this owl come together, check out this playlist. Until next time, happy coloring.